spicy grilled fish or peppered grilled fish don't worry it's not that spicy and you can definitely adjust the spiciness according to your own preference do not go away because as usual this recipe is step by step and detailed Hi guys and welcome back to my kitchen. It's okay with Claudie here and on today's episode in my kitchen I will be showing you how to make peppered grilled fish. If you're new here, a very very big welcome to you, to my returning subscribers. Thank you so much for all the love, the support, the share, the comments. I really really appreciate you. But please do not go away without hitting the subscribe button if you haven't yet subscribed. And don't hesitate to follow me on Facebook tiktok instagram and the name is the same for all cooking with claudia so right now we are going to get started with what we will be needing for this recipe today that's the ingredients so right here we have some onions some scotch bonnet chili for the scotch bonnet and chili this is how spicy i want it you can definitely adjust the spiciness according to how you want it we also have some mini sweet peppers and one large red bell pepper. Also for the onions, I will be like, I slice the onions in two different shapes. That's the rings and the other one, I will be blending it. The one I slice into the rings, you will save it because we will be using it for later. For the rest of the ingredients, we have some thyme, rosemary, green onion, some parsley, garlic and ginger for the side here i will be using some i will be making some fried ripe plantains this is the fish i will be using to sea bream you can use any fish of your choice i will start by blending all the fresh ingredients except the onions which i sliced into rings I will be blending with some cooking oil and after blending it looks like this do not blend it to be 100% smooth it has to be a little bit rough like this so right now I'll just mix the rest of these powder ingredients in there right here I have some black pepper I have some margarita some seasoning cubes some salt and um, over there I have some cumin and some white pepper to prep our fish i will take off all the fins from the fish then i'll pat dry the fish to take out any extra moisture i always like to take out the moisture so that like the spices or the marinade should should not run off with the remaining water that is in the fish Score the fish on both sides, then let us begin marinating. At this point, we're going to let the fish rest for at least 30 minutes to 1 hour. And after that time, let's transfer onto our baking 
pan i will be grilling this fish because the fish is not that big so i'll just apply some oil spray i'll grill the fish 400 degrees fahrenheit for about 10 minutes each side so for the remaining marinade i just transferred onto a cooking pot i added some oil there and it's going to cook in medium heat for about five minutes to some of that water dries off so while that is cooking we're going to be using that as our dip the pepper sauce for the dip for the plantain i'm just going to peel it then slice it and get ready to deep fry So right now at this point, I'm just going to add that um, onion, the one I sliced into rings because it was not blended. I'll just add it in there and let it just saute for about a minute because I still want that crunchiness in it. I love, I love onion crunchiness on anything grilled, be it pork, chicken, fish, whatsoever. After 10 minutes, this is how the fish is looking. Um, I will just flip the sides. Then when I flip the sides, I will apply them. They already cooked pepper sauce on it. Like I said before, for this recipe, always adjust the pepper. Oh my goodness, the flavor is so, so good. Always adjust the spiciness of the pepper according to how you want it. So back to our plantains, I'm just going to flip the sides so that the other, sides, the other side cooks perfectly. And after that, I'll just take it off from the oil. Then we'll set aside so that when our fish is ready, we we'll serve with the fish. So after another 10 minutes, this is how the fish is looking so beautiful. It has been cooked perfectly, as you can see. Right now, I'm just going to serve onto a plate and serve the pepper sauce. Oh my god, this meal is one of a kind. Grilled fish with some pepper sauce. So this is how everything is looking. The flavor is amazing. It is savory. It is yummy. It is delicious. Everything you name it the best part let us try to see how it tastes but i'm very sure it tastes really really good so look at that it's so flaky white inside it means the fish has been cooked to perfection guys this is so good for the side you can use any side of your choice be it potatoes puff puff rice whatsoever like the already fried pepper sauce you can use it like to eat anything with it anything anything just anything so guys thank you so so much for watching to this point and please let me know in the comment section what you think about this video if you have any input please share and to meet again in my next video bye for now and keep trusting my recipes and please stay safe